Senator, that was wonderful. Um, as an ordinary, I consider myself an ordinary person in talking about empowering us as a 99%. Um, my question would be, when I've learned about the Article 5 and the initiative in that, what would be the difference between the Article 5 and the Article 7? And why would that be better to empower us or help us as people? Very good question. Article 5 is how the government amends the Constitution. There's no provision in the Constitution for the people to amend it. But Article 5 is an extremely, extremely undemocratic process. When it says that to get, make a change to improve our government, we have to get two-thirds of the Congress, or two-thirds uh, of the uh, state legislatures, to call for a convention. But after the convention, or after the Congress decides on the change, it has to go to three-fourths of the state legislatures to be ratified. Now, what that really means is that not only does it go to the state legislature, it has to be ratified by both chambers of the state legislature. So that means that Senate chambers, 13 Senate chambers, could thwart any possible change or improvement to the Constitution. Now, if you do the math, in Alaska, the Senate was 20 people. If you take the Senate chambers of the smaller states, you'll see that around 500 people in this nation of 300 million plus people, 500 people can thwart any problem. I hope that answers your question, Kelly. Thank you, sir. Yes, it does. It, uh, it, it helps me to understand, uh, since I don't know the details of, of a lot of the differences in governments. For an ordinary grandma, it helped a lot. Thank you, sir.